Welcome to this video on Weisenborn study number 33. I'm Terry Ewell. I play most of the notes on the bassoon with a single fingering regardless of the dynamics of the note. C sharp 4, however, is an unusual note because I often make use of three fingerings. My standard fingering for C sharp 4 is the French fingering. I choose this as my regular fingering because it is louder than the fast fingering and uses fewer fingers than the full fingering. Fewer fingers allow for quicker movements. The fast or left hand only fingering is used for the faster passages. For many Americans, this is their standard fingering. The full fingering provides a beautiful tone and that is one I choose for lyrical and slower passages, such as given in this study in the first four lines. I use the other two fingerings later in the study, the French C-sharp when I want more resonance, and the fast C-sharp when the passage is difficult. I have not marked any of the C-sharps as alternative fingerings here, so you will need to experiment with what works best for you. I play the turn in line 1 measure 7 with normal fingerings. However, you might find it easier to use these fingerings as an alternative. In any case, you should remember these fingerings for trills and shakes. The C sharp to D4 trill in line 2 is fingered like this. Notice that I start with the full C-sharp fingering, then release the C-sharp key and raise my left third finger. Then I trill the left third finger. In study number nine, I presented reasons for when and where to breathe. Line three, measure one, is another interesting case study. I have heard many students make this choice, breathing after the B3 on the bar line. The B3 does sound as if it is a resolution from the F sharp 4. However, this is a musically poor choice. Let me now explain. There is an important relationship between line 2, measures 5 through 8, and the following four measures ending with F sharp 4 in line 3. These two four bar phrases are related. The second four bar phrase is an elaboration, an ornamentation of the first four bars. Here are the first two measures of the two phrases. Here are the second two measures of the two phrases. Now, can you hear how they are related? The lower line in the example is an ornamentation or elaboration of the top line. Therefore, the breath needs to come in the same place after the F sharp 4. Thus, in line 3, measure 1, the B3 is a pickup to the next phrase. Weisenborn further indicates this musical understanding by placing the AW of AW tempo immediately over the B3 in line 3, measure 5. He indicates that this B3 belongs as a pickup to the next phrase. You can clearly see the beginning of the phrase at the AW tempo is identical to the prior start. This should thus be phrased in the same way. I will not comment on the RF, the caesuras, and the tempos leading up to the fermata, 
since I've discussed these in other videos. You can also observe how I present them in my performance in this video. I need to give you some fingerings, however, for the mordants and the trill. In line 6, the mordant on D4 to E4 is best fingered like this. The addition of the E-flat resonance key gives a fuller sound to E4. In line 6, the mordant on B3 to C-sharp 4 is the standard trill fingering for those notes. In line 10, on the fermata, the trill from E4 to F-sharp 4 is fingered like this. Last of all, you might need to lightly tongue the slur to A-sharp 2 in line 4. If you choose to do this, don't tongue the center of the reed, rather tongue a corner of the reed. This will make the articulation less noticeable and still help the note to respond. Tonguing the corner of the reed yields a more legato articulation than tonguing in the center of the reed. I assume that you are correctly flicking the articulated notes for A3, B3, B flat 3, and C4. All your notes need to start cleanly. In line 12, the downward slur from E4 to A3 comes out best by flicking the A key. If you need to review flick keys, please see studies 3 and 4. A man who has friends must himself be friendly. The importance of making friends should not be underestimated in the music industry. It is often people who know you who recommend you for jobs. During the interview process for the first university where I was hired, there was a person on the search committee who knew me from our days in a youth orchestra. His advocacy was important for me getting the chance to interview for the job. This was the job that started my full-time academic career. It is usually the case that when you interview or audition for a bassoon position in the USA, your committee will be comprised of non-bassoonists. For instance, when a university replaces a bassoon professor position, that bassoon teacher is not on the committee. The committee may contain other woodwind teachers or performers or professors or staff from other fields. Remember that your friendships should go out to people who perform different instruments or do other things in music. Be friendly to many people, not just those who play the bassoon.